join kids hat family hey tofu do you want to come with me i just saw my piggy bank has enough money to buy new books and toys for the children at the orphanage you can help me buy and distribute the goodies you are going to give away all your savings to other children how can you do that don't you want to buy something for yourself tofu we can't always think of ourselves sometimes we have to help those who do not have the same means as us Let me tell you a story of kindness. This is a story from a long long time ago in Nottingham, England, when Prince Richard ruled the country. His younger brother Prince John was a wicked prince who took care of the state while the king was away for wars. Prince John was unkind to common people of Nottingham and had no consideration for the poor. Under his charge, the rich became richer. while the poor became poorer the poor had no savior to save them other than robin hood or the hooded thief as he was popularly known robin hood had a trusted companion called little john Robin Hood would rob the rich merchants. And the princess caravans that carried the huge taxes collected from the poor as they crossed the Sherwood Forest which was the home of Robin Hood on the way to the princess treasury. and he would distribute the loot amongst the poor his generosity earned him the name prince of thieves amongst the common people and also many rewards that were announced by the sheriff for his capture But this did not stop Robin from doing his good deeds. One day, when Robin Hood and his friends had robbed the prince's caravan again, the prince called the sheriff of Nottingham to the palace. This is the last time Robin Hood has humiliated my men and me, sheriff. What are your troops doing? Why haven't they caught that thief as yet? We are doing everything, your highness. I assure you, we will have him soon. You should, otherwise someone else will be punished. The sheriff made a new plan with his men. He decided to announce an archery competition to be held in Nottingham and the winner would be announced as the best archer in Nottingham and also win a kiss from the maiden Marian. 
One day, Robin Hood's friend Tuck came to visit him. Have you heard of the archery competition that the sheriff has announced for tomorrow? Yes, we have, Friar. And the men and I think Robin shouldn't go to it. It is a trap laid by the sheriff. All of England knows that Robin Hood is the best archer by far. Robin doesn't need to go and prove anything there. You worry too much, little John. Lighten up. We will go and have some fun tomorrow. And to ensure that no one recognizes us, we'll wear disguises. And so the next day, Robin Hood and his friends wore disguises and went to the competition. Just as Robin Hood had predicted, no one was able to recognize him. Soon it was Robin Hood's turn to shoot the arrows. He took the first shot at the board and hit Bullseye. The crowd cheered for this unknown archer. Then he took another arrow and shot it again. This one too hit Bullseye. The crowd cheered louder. The cheering caught the sheriff's attention and he turned to see what the matter was. By now, Robin had drawn his third arrow and took a shot. It too hit the bull's eye. When the fourth arrow also did the same, the sheriff realized something. That is no stranger. That is Robin Hood. No one can shoot four arrows in a row like that. Grab him, men! The whole crowd broke into a frenzy as the sheriff's men arrested Robin Hood. Off with his head! But little John moved like a lightning flash and grabbed the prince and put a knife to his throat. Release him immediately! The sheriff's men had no choice except to let go of Robin Hood. The prince of thieves and his friends hollered and made their way out of the archery field but not before Robin Hood climbed the audience tower and stole a kiss from the maiden Marian. Back at the Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood and his friends got together and celebrated. You were right, Robin Hood. Today was a lot of fun. The sheriff had this coming. I am sure you surprised Maiden Marian too. Well, not as surprised as the prince is going to be when he finds out that we stole four bags of gold from his treasury during the sheriff's archery competition. Everybody laughed heartily. Wow, Tia. This is such an inspirational story about being selfless and helping the helpless. I am going to change my ways from now onwards. I am so proud of you, Tofu. That is such a great decision. Keep doing good deeds. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, Join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.